Uh, it's been one of those restless nights. I couldn't sleep too well. So I thought I would answer some of you guys' questions you were asking me. How did I do it? How did I transform a garbage mat behind me into uh, some really good chroma king? And what did I do to get the news making, you know, getting it to look as good as I did? So I'm actually going to do that today. I'm going to show you my techniques for... Uh, for doing special effects today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, I'm using my favorite screen capture tool, and this is... Uh, for my webcam called GovC Video or GovC View and I have this set at 640 by 360 resolution this is the best for my processor at 15 frames per second uh, the camera output is YUYV and uh, the video codec is YUY2 uncompressed video I just press capture video and then when it's done I press this button again to stop the recording and then I had an output saved to my home directory. Okay, next I'm using an application in Wine. Uh, this is my favorite uh, video converter. I'm using WinAVI. The reason I'm going to convert this video is because the chroma keying software I'm going to use cannot read the output that uh, the Goosey View made. So I have to convert it to an output that it can read. I'm going to add a file and it's pointing to my home directory. I'm going to grab Capture 21. That's the name of the file it made. I'm going to open it. I'm going to tell it I want it to convert to an AVI file. This is where it's going to save the file. Okay, then I'm going to go into Advanced. Okay, and then these are the settings you want to use for the Chroma Keying software. You want H. 264 ABC. Let me zoom in on this so you can see it better. Okay, a baseline PO file, a custom bit rate of 12,000 kilobits per second. You want to keep the original frame size. Instead of the 15 frames per second, we want to change that to 29.97. It's not necessary to worry about audio settings because because of the fact the chroma keyer doesn't use it and it does not export audio. Okay, so we select OK. Okay, and then we press Start. When this is finished, then we'll proceed to the next step. The next program I'm going to use requires me to use a virtual machine because I cannot get this application running in Wine. And this program is called Synagogue's Keyer. Very nice program. And I'm going to go ahead and launch this. And the first thing I'm going to do is import the video that I just encoded. Alright, so what we're going to do is go into my documents folder. I'm going to grab Capture 21 and open it. Okay, good. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to go into preview and under background here I want to select a video background okay and I'm going to select this one here all right very nice now if we go into general it's going to pick the darkest shade of green and it's this is the green color that it wants to key out now it may not match this color but check this out wait till you see how good this works Okay, next I'm going to go into pre-key. In Chroma Smoothing, I've always found I had really good results, results if I choose 1. So I'm going to do that. 1.00. We're not going to do any rotoscoping. 
but let's say my green screen only extended to where the cursor is here and I wanted to remove this, I could actually draw an area that it would key out with the inclusion of the green screen. All right, now with the color difference map, we're going to slide the black threshold and we want to select the largest channel. Okay, I think that would be pretty good to work with there. All right, now, if we select color difference up here, you will see it has removed the background. But look at that ugly green halo. Well, we can compensate for this a little bit by removing the slider a little bit and setting the opacity down a little bit lower. That took some of it out, but not all of it. Okay, so we can actually go into uh, some other things. We could blur or we could use matte expansion but actually all I'm going to, going to just use is spill suppression. And as you can see, look how that just neatened that up really nicely for us. So I'm pleased with that result. So now we're going to go to output. Linux video, video editors do not support uh, video exports that have an alpha channel. So I'm going to have to export this as preview. And that is physically what we are seeing on the screen. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is press the render and save video. And I'm going to name this Capture 21B. Okay, we'll save it. After this is done rendering, I'm going to actually rename the file. I forgot to mention that when you are exporting from the chroma keyer, you want to ex export that as full frames uncompressed before starting the, the uh, creation process if you want the sharpest video quality. Okay, now, if you've seen some of my other tutorials on OpenShot Video Editor, the, what you're seeing here should look familiar to you. Also, I want to point out that um, uh, at, before I even upload this video, there is going to be a uh, video editing section in my playlists. So you can see everything. I'm just going to go over this very quickly here because uh, a lot of this material is already covered in, pre in prior episodes. Okay, now, this is the chroma key footage here that we saved. Let me click on this. Okay, and you can see it here. All right, and we can see that the output looks pretty nice. All right, let me go ahead and pause this. All right, now, the, ex the exported footage from the chroma key does not give you sound. So you need to have the original clip that you, uh, that you converted for the player and you need to insert both of those on the timeline in the same place for audio and video synchronization. And another thing that I decided to do was to have the background, the green background, wipe into the keyed footage. And so this is what we're seeing on the timeline here. Let me um, hide these for a moment so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right, we've got our footage here. And then what I did was, in this section, I took an, a completely empty blank PNG file and then assigned a transition to the video footage of our converted file. And you will see as I'm moving along the play line, now we have a transition from, from green screen to the video footage. Okay. Next, how did I do the lower thirds? I just simply used a graphics editor similar to the GIMP. Actually, I used uh, Macromedia Flash and Fireworks to create those uh, effects, including the uh, scrolling marquees, and exported them as PNG sequences that I could pull in. But for this tutorial's purpose, I'm just going to pull in a, a piece that I've already made, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You could actually just go into title here and create a new title. And here's the lower third for you right here already pre-made. You, 
can change the text and then you can position this on the screen wherever you would like. And there are other styles that you can choose from, such as a title and a subtitle. Additionally, there are other little things you could use to put over your footage. The only limit is your imagination. If you are an artist and you want to uh, do some really neat uh, graphics or uh, frame by frame animations, you could you could actually do that in the GIMP if you wanted to, and then bring those PNG files into uh, OpenShot, and it will handle them well. And so that's exactly what I did here. I took a title and put this on here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and scroll forward a little bit. And you can see that I have a title with a lower third and a special effect animation. And pretty much that's all there is to it. Uh, check out my other videos if you want to learn more about how I do video editing in Linux. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also, catch me on Facebook and Twitter. If you would like to have a discussion with me on my show uh, about video editing, that would be great. Please see me on TeamSpeak. I have a video on my channel on how to get on TeamSpeak, and I'll also put a link in the show notes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.